Welcome to the Freedom of the Seas. This is Steve here, and I'm gonna give you a full walkthrough of this wonderful cruise experience. Let's start this amazing ship doing a walkthrough in Deck 11. To the left is a solarium. In the middle of the ship is a main pool. Next is a kids area, Splash Away Bay. And all the way in the back of the ship is a Windjammer Cafe. Let's start with the main pool. This consists of two amazing pools in the middle of the ship. I really love the design of this ship because all the action, party, pool, music and movies is gonna take place here. Another great feature of the pools on the Freedom of the Seas is that there's plenty of nice chairs around the pool area. But you can also lay down inside the pool with these chairs and you're gonna feel like you're in the beach. As you can see, there's a huge screen between these two amazing pools where you can watch movies, music videos and games. There's a whirlpool exactly in the middle of the pool. I think that's the best one because you're gonna be so close to the bar but you're gonna have the best place to watch and listen to cool live bands. The Lime and Coconut is a poolside bar. This is a cool place where you're gonna buy drinks to fight the heat of the Caribbean. I really like to sit here and just enjoy the breeze of the sea. Now let's go to Splash Away Bay, the kids area. Every time I'm on a Royal Caribbean ship, I feel impressed how much effort they make to have a fun and huge place for the kids. The Splash Away is the dream place for any kid. Here they're gonna have a bunch of amazing memories. The Splash Away Bay features colorful sculptures around a series of sprinklers, jets, and water cannons that youngsters can use to soak each other. Another smart thing they did is put El Loco Fresh next to the kids' area, so this makes the life of parents so easy. Their kids can have a lot of fun and also eat a burrito, quesadillas, or tacos. Now, let's go inside the buffet area. On this ship, you're not only gonna find the Windjammer, but you're also gonna find Plaza Bar, Chops Grill, and Giovanni's. Speaking about Giovanni's, this is a casual Italian trattoria with indoor and al fresco seating. It offers rustic dishes with a contemporary flair of the Italian cuisine. Across the hall is Chops Grill. This is the famous steak restaurant. This is one of the favorites amongst cruises. These two restaurants are not included on your cruise fare, but it's a must if you're gonna take a 7-day cruise. What is included in your cruise fare is a Windjammer. This huge buffet includes many types of food. You can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. Now remember, it's a buffet style, so it's all you can eat. Also, they have a great variety of different types of dessert. Now listen up, folks. If you wanna book this wonderful ship, make sure to give us a call, and there's a good reason why. We provide you with the best rate guaranteed. Because of our amazing volume with Royal, we have access to unpublished rates, and we're gonna offer this to you. Keep in mind, to get this rate, you must give us a call. We're gonna help you with everything and make sure you find the best price. Finally, on this deck, you're gonna find the solarium. This is the adult area where you can see the beautiful pool, and it has an elegant bridge in the middle. It also has a lot of space for seating, if you want to take some sun, relax, and enjoy your vacation. It also has its own bar, so you don't have to worry to go far away to grab your favorite drink. The solarium also has shaded areas and an array of sun loungers, towering palm trees, and hammocks. It also features two whirlpools. These extend 12 feet beyond the sides of the ship and 112 feet above the ocean. Vitality at Sea is the spa of the freedom of the seas. Here you can find the salon where you're gonna have a professional hairstyler, the fitness center. This fantastic place is one of the best gyms I've ever seen. Not only because of the amazing view of the sea, but also because there's a lot of good machines that help me make a great exercise routine. So let's head up. This is a mini golf. If we go one deck down, we're gonna find the main pool area and these chairs. All the way to the back is the famous Johnny Rockets. Next is the flow rider. And finally, the sports court. Let's talk about fun. The freedom of the seas is known because of this amazing area where you're gonna find a lot of things that are gonna make you fall in love with this ship. 
The first thing you have to try out is the Flow Rider. This artificial wave will make you feel like a professional surfer. And I know, if we think about Royal Caribbean, we think about water slides, and this ship has two really good ones. And finally, the sports court and rock climbing wall is the cherry on top of this amazing area. If you have teenage kids, they're gonna spend all their time here. But there is no need to worry because Royal Caribbean takes the appropriate safety measures really serious and they have a lot of staff members who are trained and know what they're doing. This is Johnny Rockets. It's a little hidden so be careful not to miss this one because it's 100% complimentary. It has an old style of vintage American burgers. On this deck, we're gonna find the cabanas and a lot of chairs with incredible views. And finally, the Liberty Dunes. This has to be one of the best mini golf courses with a nice view. This place is complete, big, and you're gonna have so much fun with your family. Live or Twist on Deck 14 is an incredible place to have a good party at night with this DJ booth and a lot of space to dance. By day, it's an incredible place to relax and have a view of the middle of the ship by these huge windows. So we are done with all the upper decks. Let's go to deck five. To the left is bar R. To the right is guest services. Here is cafe promenade and shore excursions. Next, vintage bar, then the English bar. Next, Sorrento's, and let's start with guest services. As you know, if you have any problems, you can just come here and they're gonna do everything in their hands to help you out. Across the hall is Bar R. It's a really good spot if you wanna drink something and also have a conversation. This is a royal promenade. It's the heart of the ship. Here you're always gonna find something to do and you can also eat or drink. Here is Shore Excursions. If you're looking for a good and safe excursion, make sure to check out every option. Next cruise, if you love this ship and you want to book a next one, this is the place. Remember to give us a call for discounts. Now let's talk about Cafe Promenade. This is a complimentary place, so here you can have coffee, something to drink, a sandwich, salad, cakes, and pastries. The ice cream is fantastic. You better make sure to stop by on those hot days. The English pub has to be one of my favorite spots. They have cold beers and live music. Normally you'll see folk rock musicians, so be ready to sing those amazing songs. After that is vintage. This classy bar gives you a fancier atmosphere where you can try different varieties of wine. And up next you're gonna find Sorrento's. This is the pizzeria and it's open late. This has to be one of the best places because their pizza is really delicious and always available. The library card and room is the place if you like to read in peace with comfortable seats. And finally, the Star Lounge. This is one of the main stages on the ship. Here you're gonna witness a lot of talent on Royal Caribbean. Also, this place has its own bar, a lot of space to seat and a huge dance hall. Let's move on to deck four. This is Valero's. Next is a Playmaker Sports Bar. Next to this is a Casino and the Schooner Bar. And finally, the Royal Theater. Let's stay here on Royal Theater. As you know, Royal Caribbean's signature is their amazing shows. Every night is gonna be a wonderful night here. I felt so impressed of how much effort they put in to make you feel like you're in an elegant and professional theater. Here you can watch musicals, games, and famous theater plays. Izumi is a Japanese restaurant. Here you're gonna have the best Japanese food, such as sushi and hibachi. Don't forget to ask about the dinner package. This is Schooner Bar. I love this bar. There's a professional piano player that's gonna play those great songs and give a cool atmosphere to the bar. Also, the bar is close to the casino. The casino. The casino is one of the places with most action on the entire ship. Here you're gonna find a lot of happy people enjoying their vacation, so it's the perfect place to make a lot of friends. Here you can play machines, slots, blackjack, and poker. And if you don't know how to play, the staff is gonna help you out. And don't forget, on port days, the casino will be open. The Playmakers. This is the American Sports Bar. Here you're gonna feel like home. Here you're not gonna miss any game because they have a lot of TVs playing them. Also, this is a cool place to make friends who enjoy the cold beer and watch the most important games. Next is Bolero's. 
This bar is a Latin bar, so don't be surprised if you hear loud music coming from here. Also peep, this is a main dining. This magnific three-deck restaurant is your complimentary diner for the nights on the cruise. This elegant and tasty restaurant works like this. Normally, they tell you which table and deck you will dine at. If you don't have enough people with you, they will match you with other people. This is such an amazing thing because you can meet new people and talk about how good the food was and become friends for the entire trip. On deck three is the art gallery. Here you can buy art to take home. Next to that is Focus. This is the place where all your photos are gonna be. And finally, Studio B. This is the ice skating ring. Here you're gonna see amazing shows with professional people. All right, folks, we've reached the end of this tour. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Steve here. Make sure to give us a call for the best rate guaranteed. Have a great day.